Okay, hi everyone. So today we're going to do um, a pour with um, a little sink strainer like this. I purchased these from Amazon and you got six or six, yeah, six of these little things for $11.99, which I didn't think was a bad deal. I thought it'd be fun to try a pour with each one of them. Or you can go to like to the dollar store and just even use like this. Um, I used one of these in a pour that I did yesterday and I loved the outcome. I thought it was just fantastic. Came out really neat looking. So I've already got my canvas all primed and ready to go. I just put um, a little white base on here. Your The um, Floetrol, this stuff. Um, mixed with my wicker white paint um, or my white acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. You can get those at Walmart for like $2.50. Um, and then a little water mixed in with that. And then I've got all my colors laid out here. We're going to try to make it look like a tree. Um, so I used um, burnt, um, burnt Umber from Liquitex. I've got Mars Black and Raw Sienna. I'm using some Apple Barrel um, acrylic paints that I've had hanging around for eons. This one's Barn Red. Um, and then I've got Caramel Candy. And I've got Burt Sienna. And then I've got some folk art stuff here too. I've got this metallic um, antique gold. And this one is linen. And I think that's it. So, um, to start, I think I'm just going to leave my lineup kind of wonky here. Got a lot of colors going on. Um, so, to start, what I did was um, I just mixed all my paints with my Floetrol, two to one ratio, two being the Floetrol, one being the acrylic paint, and then I added in some water too until I got um, a real nice um, texture. It's not making any mounds on top. It's just kind of sinking right in. It's real loose. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring right into my little sink strainer here. And this paint is gonna to start to come out the bottom here. So that's okay. That's what we want it to do. And then this one's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker. And I've got the gold. This is the Liquitex. Sienna. Oh, it looks cool already. Um, and I think I'm going to add a little white in here too. Why not go crazy? Just a little bit of the white. And then I'm just going to repeat that pattern again. Caramel candy. This one's linen. Might not look anything like tree rings. But I like how this is turning out so far.
Sienna. Wait. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to go one more round. You can never have enough paint, right? One more round. I can already see I have a couple little cells happening. Done with that. And then I'm just going to pour a small ring. On the edge here. This will help the paint move around a little bit. Move all my paints. And I'll probably end up just doing a small pour just to use up that. Let me put my hands here. Close my silicone before it spills. Okay, now I think we're ready to move this out. So that looks pretty cool. Let me take you a little closer. Let me see if I can drop my phone right into the middle of it. Looking pretty neat. So now we're ready for the messy part. Oh no, now I can't get the camera to stay back to how it was. That's the story of my life. There we go. All right. Now. Just kind of move it around. And it's okay if it flows off the edges. That's what we want it to do. Gonna get messy. And you have to have some of this extra paint off. You can't have all this paint on here because it will try to dry and then it'll just crack. So I'm not sure how much this is going to look like tree rings, but I love how it looks already. Oh no, there you go. Dang it. Hold on. I'm going to fix it. Technical difficulties. We've slid down. This is why I'm not a professional. Try that. Don't go anywhere. Let me finish this. I'm just trying to get it. Where's that edge? And one more. And that's it. She's covered. 
I'm going to stop right there. I don't really want to uh, move it too much more, but I'm going to take my finger, dab it around here on the edges, make sure all my corners are covered. There, I love it. I think that came out so neat. Now, once I get my hands dried off here, we are going to take the torch and just kind of run it over here. And this helps make some more little bubbles, little tiny things and pops out. Um, some of the paint. This really came out pretty. I'm glad that I put the red in there. It really helps pop things out. Poof. All right, let me take you in for a closer look. Oh, it's gonna fall anyway. This is a good thing I took you down. So, okay, let me figure out how this is gonna work. Let me switch it around, actually. Hi. No, it won't let me switch it. Once you're in record mode, that's it. So I think, I think there's a close-up of everything. Got a little glare on there because of the uh, LED light over my head. And the paint is super wet. Hi, sweetheart. Come on in. Look at my new painting. Come celebrate it with me. Mm -hmm. Yay, it's beautiful. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching.